And just in time for Valentine's Day, we're hitting the kitchen for a lesson in cooking with aphrodisiac ingredients. Are you ready to get in the mood? Because it is Valentine's Day this I week. Am. We are cooking with Melody in the kitchen, and I wish people could smell what's going on in here. So, Melody, you bring a lot of this from your own farm, yes. and you show us how to cook and how to do stuff in the kitchen. And today, you're bringing mm -hmm. with aphrodisiacs. aphrodisiacs. To get us in the mood for this week, you know, for you know, some exciting foods for your loved ones. Okay, so start us off. We've got an appetizer. Yes, we have an appetizer. So asparagus is an aphrodisiac. Okay. They call it the seductive stock. And it's fun to feed your partner the asparagus. Um, oh. And I made this lemon tarragon aioli. And aioli is just a garlicky mayo made from scratch with eggs, oil, a little bit of mustard, garlic, and lemon. It's got just it's like really, really good flavor, and it's nice and it's like a nice smooth dip to dip your all of these ingredients. In. Super yes. simple. Yes, and, yes. Just and go you just right use like together. a powerful blender to blend it all in. It's super easy. Okay. So that is my start starter dish. All right, and then when we move into the main then course, then we're going to move into the main course. And salmon is an aphrodisiac, so it's got the oh. omega three fatty acids that will boost your mood. And I have this amazing recipe that my husband absolutely loves. And if it was up to him, he'd have it every single day. So the easiest way to cook it is to broil it, and that's what I suggest. I've I've got my salmon fillets and I've just oiled my um, my baking pan a little bit and what we're gonna do is just put a nice light coating of oil on top and we make this incredible spice and sugar mixture using coriander cumin paprika cayenne pepper and brown sugar for some caramelization Ooh. there's also a little bit of salt and pepper in there and broiling is quick broiling is quick okay. I cooked these little fillets here in 10 minutes oh, so that's it was beautiful. super easy right so it looks like a gourmet dish and it's gonna be cooking up fast and what you do is you just pack it on and this mixture is enough for about four pieces so you know if your if your loved one has like a big appetite <laughs> make you, can make, you can double this and it'll be totally fine. So that's all you do. You just pat it on there. All right. And then put it in the oven, top rack, on broil. Depending Easy. on the thickness, 10 to 12 minutes. I love done. this because there's not much prep work. Now I see no. that our salmon is sitting on top of some yeah, yummy Yeah, so we're making it look really, really potatoes. pretty. And it's sitting on a red potato, garlic, and leek okay. uh, mixture. And so, how did you do that? So it, what's I the aphrodisiac in there? Garlic. Believe oh. it or not, garlic is an aphrodisiac, so it increases your blood flow. So hold on, but if you're doing that, you've got to make sure that your partner <laughs> yes. likes garlic too. Because Both of if, you need to eat. Right. If only one of you does, yes. it can be. Or just bring out the Altoids, right? So, <laughs> okay. So I boil the potatoes. I drained them and then I mashed them and I have this I just heated up some whole milk and a little bit of butter and pour it in slowly and I already mashed this earlier so you want to use your masher love this tool just to mash up the potatoes ah. and then to make it extra smooth I use a hand blender which I just love yes these so are really good like but it, can yeah. be messy <laughs> I like it to be really really creamy all right so that's what I did earlier and then you just add some salt and pepper and I sauteed leeks and garlic. So Yum. that's where the aphrodisiac comes in. Okay. Gives it a nice rustic flavor. That flavor, that's what smells That's what smells so, so good. good. Oh my goodness, the garlic. Yes. That and your, smells awesome. And your loved one's gonna be so impressed by this. And you know, the salmon sits on top nice and it looks really fancy. Beautiful. Like you're going to a nice restaurant. Okay, the finishing touch though. Yes. We've gotta finish up these beautiful little, uh, what girl doesn't like chocolate, chocolate on hazelnut, Valentine's Day? Chocolate hazelnut pot stick cream. It's simply just and a hazelnut. chocolate custard, yes. And the hazelnut comes from the frangelica oh. right here. And that's the aphrodisiac, correct? No, the aphrodisiac no. is the dark chocolate. Oh. Right? It releases endorphins. Oh, I'm learning so much. Chocolate puts us okay. in a good mood, right? All right? So I just made this last night and it's just simply like an egg chocolate custard and you just refrigerate them, no baking necessary. I made the whipped cream from scratch. Okay. I brought in the flavor again with the frangelica. And um, right now I'm just gonna put in some chopped hazelnuts that are toasted and raspberries. I'm gonna add mine. I already see that there's spoons here for us yep. and I am really excited about that. <laughs> Little raspberries. Right, so make it oh fun and you can goodness. do this with your partner just to make it more like interactive. I like that. All right, yeah, you know what, it changes it up from the chocolate covered strawberries Absolutely. and the, all yeah. of that. So this is something new and different. I'm adding one more raspberry. Yeah, and I suggest using Ghirardelli. It's just the oh. best chocolate that you can find in the grocery store. So good. You ready to Cheers. dig in? Cheers. For Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, putting your loved one in the best mood possible. Melody's Absolutely. doing it for us this morning, cooking in the kitchen for her recipes. Go to foxsidesandiego.com and click on the scene on tab. Raul.
Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> mm, Good so stuff. Good. Okay, oh. ladies. You know